the sustained pressure and the chronicity of stress is what wears away at our bodies and minds day after day. So this is what ultimately wears down our metabolism and fatigues our adrenals. The adrenal glands secrete and control about 30 different steroids and hormones, so a very large amount, very important endocrine um, organ. The most important of those being cortisol, um, adrenal androgens, which are sex hormones, aldes aldosterone, <laughs> uh, which balances sodium and potassium in your body, and also, of course, um, epinephrine and norepinephrine, which is just adrenaline, right? Um, cortisol is a very important and very powerful hormone. However, too much in the bloodstream late in the day causes inflammation, uh, high stress levels, and alertness. Um, ideally, in the daytime in the morning, we want our cortisol to be elevated, so we are alert, can be productive, you can train, you've got energy, stuff like that. But in the evening, you want that elevation to come down. So the prolonged stress of days and poor sleep um, elevate our cortisol too late in the day. Um, this is also true of supplements and um, caffeinated supplements. So they will plug a hole, um, cause your adrenals to release even more cortisol, uh, which again pushes that um, adrenal ev elevation too late in the day. So this is where we start to get um, counterproductive with our levels of cortisol. Prolonged stress also exhaust the adrenals to the point where they can't secrete enough cortisol for the higher demands that you're putting on the body. So the body's requiring a much higher demand of cortisol, but the adrenals can't keep up with it. So you end up having to, um, or feel like you want to drink more caffeine to stimulate more energy, right? But what happens is now you have a environment where our decision-making is impaired. We resort to these stimulants, uh, as a band-aid, band which further exhausts the adrenals, uh, we end up craving sugar to help ease the low blood sugar levels and we end up feeling exhausted constantly. By simply removing these stimulants from your diet, you can allow your adrenals to heal, recover from years of exhaustion. Adrenal fatigue is a condition which builds up over years, not over months, not over days. It takes years for this to build up. And most people will feel adrenal fatigue, not know what it is, but continue to drink stimulants anyway. Uh, once you re remove these stimulants, what happens is the body then becomes calmer and can function in a more relaxed mood. So what happens is you become more sensitive to those 30 different steroids and hormones um, that the adrenals secrete, thus having more energy day to day, and you can feel energized for your workouts or for a smaller dose of these secretions, right? Um, you, be you become better at shifting from gear five to gear one. So gear five being heightened and alert and like pumped and gear one, obviously being relaxed and ready to go to sleep. So yes, you become better at shifting through these gears more consciously instead of being stuck in gear five when you need gear one. 